Hi guys, it's Dickie here of Full Safari Suit as usual, here to tell you a little bit about Exploriana, how it works, what's new, and what is it? Okay, so Exploriana is an awesome game of exploration, discovery, uh, scientific wonders, uh, and, and travel. Okay, so we've got a brand new box here, uh, fantastic new look to this, I think you'll agree. Okay, uh, and also travel size. So you can take it away with you when you go exploring the world, or of course, if you want to just explore your uh, explore the world through your front room, that's fine as well. Okay, and you can do that with Exploriana. Uh, you've got uh, a team of explorers that you go sending uh, across three continents: South Africa, uh, South America, Africa, and the Far East, um, and discovering new species, uh, fantastic landmarks, new locations, treasures. Uh, and maps to help you find your way, okay? Um, so, a little bit about the new components that we've added to the game um, will come in a second, but I'm gonna go through what's involved in the game for those of you who haven't played already. So we've got our wonderful meeples here. Meeples very much as you'd expect, but in the deluxe version of the game, which will be on Kickstarter, uh, that they will be custom meeples, which, is, uh, which are gonna look great on the table. Okay, uh, we've also got coins, uh, which you can see here, uh, our lost explorer tokens, which I'll come on to in a second, uh, and guides. So those are awesome ways of mitigating hazards uh, and, and making hazards don't ruin your day. But what are hazards, I hear you ask? So, we're going to move on to the cards here. So you can see all the cards laid out in front of you. Um, these are the most important part of the game. They're called discovery cards. Um, and you'll see that they have three hazards on. So we've got, rock uh, we've got wrong turns, rock falls, and animal attacks. Okay, you've got to be wary of that cute panda. Okay, so the hazards, uh, three, three of those, so three of the same, or three different hazards, will send your explor explorer lost, which is where these lost explorer tokens come into the game. Okay, a little more about that in a second. Um, but as you can see, all of the art on the cards is beautifully drawn. Um, you've got how many points they're worth in the top. Uh, just underneath, you've got what kind of card they are, any rewards you get, and then the hazards at the bottom. Okay. Now, what's new with the game, I hear you ask. So, we have uh, this modular board. Uh, so, you can take the board apart. Um, so really easy to pack down into a small, small package um, and awesome to put together. So if you've not got a big long table like this, you can do it separately and however you want to, which is perfect. Uh, we also have these relics. Okay, I'll show you there, rendered in cardboard. We've got the Jade Idol for South America, the, uh, uh, the Elephant uh, Totem for Africa, and then a Buddha statue for the Far East. Okay, in the deluxe game, those will be rendered. Uh, those will be rendered in resin, um, and they're going to be awesome 3D uh, relics that you'll be able to have on the table, which will be really awesome to look at. Um, so, how does the game play? Well, first of all, we take our explorer cards. You can see those there. Everyone, uh, we deal one more of those than the number of players onto the table. Um, you'll see there that they've got uh, little qu little question marks on and that's because you'll be able to pledge to have your image in the game uh, and your portrait in, as one of the explorers. So our artist Richard Deering is uh, ready and raring to go uh, to do a load of portraits for anyone who pledges uh, to have their image in the game. Um, there will be a limited number of those so uh, get on those quickly. Okay, so the uh, Explorers, they've got a uh, coin cost up in the top corner. That's how much they cost to play. So you get them for free, but then you have to pay to play them. Um, they also have an awesome ability which will help you mitigate somewhat the luck factor in the game, because obviously Exploriana, Exploriana is a push your luck game. Um, and they're a little bit of a, how, how can I strategize this? We also added these fantastic mission cards. So. If I show you the other side of those, these are uh, mission cards are ways of getting points. You'll get two of these at the beginning of the game, uh, and they'll give you 
certain objectives that you've got to try and complete throughout the game to get yourself four extra points, which is quite a big deal in Explorer. Okay, the, uh, the relics are worth five points as well, and that is everything that's new about the game. So the phases, we go through our explorers first, uh, then we choose where we're putting our explorers on the board, so it'll go in renown order. So I've just put a few out there, just randomly. Uh, and then we get to exploration, which is the awesome fun part of the game. So uh, you, uh, you ha always start with two cards, and then you get to choose whether or not you're going to turn over a new one. Uh, and work out whether, try and try and figure out whether it's safer to stop exploring now uh, and take your picks or go further. I'm going to go further. Uh, unfortunately, with three different hazards, my explorer has gone bust, so we add a lost explorer token to the board. Now, if you choose to stop exploring, four cards or less, you get one pick. Now, the picks can be all of the animal cards, any of the non animal cards or you can rescue one of these lost explorers and get a choice of coins or an elm, uh, which is a really nice nice strategy part of the game. What are you going to go for? What do you need more? Okay. If you get to five cards, that's awesome, because you get to take two picks instead of one, which is, uh, which is always the, uh, the carrot which gets you, uh, gets you in trouble uh, when you're on four cards uh, and you can't decide what to do. Okay. So... Once everyone's explored, we reset um, and choose uh, more explorers and choose where we're going and go again. The game is over when one of these car one of these decks is empty. Uh, we do one more, uh, we finish that round and then it's, it's the count of points. Okay, so the Kickstarter, what's it going to look like? Well, you'll be able to pledge for the base game which is pretty much what you see in front of you. Some of the components may change in that uh, in between now and the Kickstarter. This is a prototype copy. Um, but we'll also have the deluxe version, okay? For a little bit extra, you will be able to get uh, custom meeples, uh, the relics in resin, uh, and that will be a fantastic way uh, of getting, the, getting a, a really nice copy of this game, as I say, with Kickstarter. More components may be added to that if the campaign goes well. Uh, you'll also, as I say, be able to pledge to have your portrait as one of the Explorer cards. Um, obviously, we'll have more details on that in the Kickstarter. Uh, the Kickstarter launches on November the 6th, uh, so we look forward to seeing you all then. In the meantime, you can find out more about the game on exploriana.com. Uh, exploriana.game.com, sorry, I should say. Uh, you can search for us on Instagram or Twitter by looking for ExplorianaGame.com and Exploriana on Facebook. We also have our group Explorers of Exploriana uh, and that is a fantastic way to ask us any questions you have about the game, uh, talk about talk with fellow players about any print and play uh, games you've had, um, get print and play games set up uh, and we'll also be on Tabletopia as well so it's a fantastic place to uh, try out the game. Um, we look forward to seeing you on November the 6th on Kickstarter. Uh, until then, as I say, you can find us on all of those channels uh, and Explorers of Exploriana to ask us any questions that you might have. For more detailed uh, look at the game, we do have our playthrough video, which has gone up on our Facebook page already. Awesome. Thank you very much.